take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Hi everyone. Every time Amazon or DJI holds a sale on drones, there seems to follow a mass of forum and Reddit posts asking seasoned pilots their opinion on accessories these new pilots should buy for their new drones. On these posts, I will usually suggest that they buy the Yagi range extender, and every time I will get one of two replies from other forum users. The first reply is simply a why, and the second, more common reply is a criticism of the Yagi technology and idea. Anyway, I tried to explain my su suggestion in that the name range extender is somewhat of a misnomer. It really should be called a signal stabilizer. Picture it as changing from a shotgun to a high-powered rifle and trying to hit a 6-inch target from 3 miles away. The rifle will have a much better chance of reaching the target. Uh, for this test, I'm using the DJI Mini 2, of course, and a Skyreed Yagi Uda UDA antenna purchased from Amazon. The screen device is a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with version 1.7.4 of the DJI Fly app. The drone has the 1.05 firmware installed. Uh, for both of these flights, the weather was in the low 60s, about a 2 mile an hour wind from the south, and 50% humidity. The home point is about 5,500 feet above sea level. The altitude of the flights was around 100 feet, give or take a foot or two, uh, for the duration of both the flights, and the speed mode is set to normal. In the test without the antenna, our first signal drop was around 5,500 feet. In the test with the antenna, that gave us another 750 feet before dropping any signal. So one of the problems I found with the Galaxy S21 Ultra is that the screen is still pretty difficult to see in bright noonday sun. Here I was checking to see if the brightness had set itself lower for some reason. It hadn't. I just couldn't see the screen.
So this is actually the first time I've ever gotten the SD card speed warning. Um, it went away and it recorded the videos just fine. So I don't know what that was all about. Battery level is low, the aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Battery level is low, the aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. So we get the battery warning at about the same distance in both flights. And while it's a good idea to turn around when you see that warning, I don't usually turn around when I'm doing this type of flight. Mainly because I'm flying over fields and it doesn't really matter to me to have to go for a walk through a field to retrieve the drone. But if I was in the city or town or in the mountains, I would definitely turn around at this point. And there's our second signal loss without the antenna at just over 13,000 feet. And there's our second signal loss with the antenna at around 15,000 feet, a whole 2,000 feet farther than without the antenna. And with letting the battery get to around 55% on both flights, we're going to turn around now and head back home. I'll speed up the return trip by three times to finish the video quicker. So in this test, the Yagi antenna gave us about 2,000 more feet of range. We had to turn around because of battery, but we possibly could have gotten more. We also got the Mini 2 to 16,194 feet, which is a personal best for me. Thank you so much for watching. Links to the accessories that I have purchased and use on all my drones are in the description below. I hope this video was informative for you and it was fun to watch as it was to make. Um, get out there and fly and have fun. And again, thanks for watching.
landing. Critically low battery. Landing.